hello guys welcome to civil engineering youtube channel here in this video i will show you uh, how to calculate the fineness modulus of course aggregate okay so uh, guys uh, this is very important for lab uh, to check the fineness of the aggregate okay so uh, here i will show you how to calculate the fineness modulus of the course aggregate many students were asking me please uh, tell me uh, about how to calculate the fineness of modulus of the course aggregate so uh, guys this video is for you okay so uh, first of all let us see why to calculate fineness modulus of the course aggregate okay so uh, we are going to calculate the fineness modulus of the aggregate so why is this necessary okay so these uh, there are three main points for which we calculate the fineness modulus of the aggregate okay the first point is the fineness modulus is an index number which indicates the average size of the particle in a aggregate okay there are two types of aggregate uh, fine aggregate and coarse aggregate okay so it will indicates the average size of the particle in point number two high value of fineness modulus represent coarser particles and low value of uh, fineness modulus represent the finer materials okay uh, finer particles after that uh, fineness modulus is a sum of completed uh, cumulative uh, percentage retained on the sieve of the standard series divided by 100 and this point is very important to calculate the fineness modulus of the course aggregate this is actually the formula okay so fineness modulus is sum of cumulative per uh, percentage i will show you how to calculate this uh, cumulative percentage and uh, we have to divide it by 100 to get the fineness modulus okay so let us see uh, here formula to calculate the fineness modulus is fm is sum of cumulative percentage okay written on the sieve on the standard series divided by 100 okay uh, when we put uh, uh, aggregate in this uh, sieve then sum uh, aggregate remain here sum aggregate remain here then uh, sum uh, here sum here and sum amount here okay so uh, first of all from this data we have to calculate the cumulative percentage okay so after that we have to divide it by 100 to get the fineness modulus okay so we will calculate the fineness modulus in two step first of all we have to calculate uh, cumulative percentage weight retained okay for each sieve for each sieve we have to calculate the cumulative percentage weight retained okay and after that uh, fineness modulus final calculation will be total cumulative per weight retained uh, by calculating um, from the each sieve uh, by adding all this value and after that we have to divide by 100 to get the fineness modulus okay so let us see the uh, numerical example to get uh, clear understanding about the uh, uh, fineness modulus okay so i have written here a numerical so that uh, uh, you will be clear understanding on the on the calculation of fineness modulus okay so question is telling us a sieve analysis was carried out by 5 kg aggregate 5 kg aggregate was taken okay in the laboratory with available sieves there are different number of sieves the weight written in the sieve of 40 32 20 16 10 4.75 these are the size of sieves okay uh, this much sieves was used in the laboratory after that in uh, in this uh, sieves we got 0 1.2 1.8 0 0.5 1.5 and 0 kg of materials in each sieve okay now uh, it is telling us that find the uh, fineness modulus of the aggregate okay so we have this data and i have tabulated in this form okay so is uh, sieve are given we have 40 mm 32 mm 20 mm 16 mm 10 mm and 4.75 mm these are our sieves now in sieve 40 mm we got how much uh, aggregate written there was 0 kg of aggregate written on the 40 mm of sieve in 32 mm of sieve we got 1.2 kg of uh, uh, aggregate in 20 mm 1.8 mm in the same way these are the weight written on the respective sieve okay now we have to calculate the cumulative weight retained okay here in calculation we have to first of all calculate cumulative weight retained and then in second number we will get fineness modulus 
by dividing all cumulative weight of uh, aggregate divided by 100 and we will get the fineness modulus okay so first of all see uh, how to calculate the cumulative weight return so we have got zero this much uh, aggregate this much aggregate return in respective sheaves so uh, to calculate cumulative weight return we got zero after that this value will come this plus this will get 1.2 after that this value will get this plus this will give this value after that this plus this will get this value after that this plus this will get this value and this plus this will get our this value so guys this is the cumulative weight return after that what we have to do we have to divide this value this value by total weight we have taken in the laboratory we have taken how much 5 kg weight okay so how will this value came first of all we have to divide this 0 0 divided by total weight is 5 kg we have to put here 5 kg and we have to multiply it with 100 so here multiplying by 0 we will get how much 0 in the same way for 1.2 we have to divide 1.2 by 5 which is total weight okay and again we have to multiply with 100 and we will get 24 percent and this value i have written here in the same way we do what this value is divided by 5 this 5 which is our total weight of the aggregate and again we have to multiply it by 100 okay and uh, this will give how much 20 into 3 which is 60 percent in the same way we will we have to calculate all this value uh, one by one okay after calculating all this value we have to calculate cumulative percentage return okay so total cumulative percentage return will how much 354 okay now fineness modulus is equals to total cumulative percentage of weight return divided by 100 and we have done same 354 divided by 100 and we will get almost 3.54 and this is the fineness modulus of the aggregate so guys in this way we can calculate the fineness modulus of the aggregate okay so uh, this much for today please uh, like this video and subscribe my channel for new update about civil engineering thank you